guys we're back with another video 2008 ford expedition uh radiator all right i know you guys have seen uh, other videos on youtube uh 2008 ford expedition uh no need to take out lights and grills and you know it's ridiculous so uh i'm going to show you how to do it another way I don't even see the reason why you have to take out a headlight. I'm baffled. And, and, the, and the front bumper and the grill. Uh, no need to take that off. So, uh, hell, let's do a step-by-step -step today. Yeah, let's get it. I'm, uh, if you haven't watched me before, I'm Hayes Mobile Auto Repair. Uh, actually, this is my first uh radiator on this ford expedition and i'm just going to try to go step by step with you and we're going to learn along the way and i'll try to show you the easiest way to do this job so what i've done already i've already taken off the main hose that you know the intake tube the air filter cover and the filter okay i took off that main cover a bunch of clips and that's about all i've done Okay, and this is where I'm at right now. I did remove I did remove it from the clips right here this But I'm gonna I'm still gonna end up taking these bolts off right here. I'll do that shortly, but let's go ahead and get to the reservoir uh, Tank first. I think I want to remove that first so I can get up in here so uh, of course air filter goes here the reservoir tank here there's a bolt here there's a bolt here there's a hose down here with a clip on it so we're just going to pick that clip out of there and pull the hose off let's start there all right simply just get a pick get a pick like that stick it in stick it in there and just pull it out of there okay grab hold to it and pull it out all right, when you get the hose removed, go ahead and stick this back in the spot all the way in there and you're good to go. When you pop this thing back in, it'll just snap in there, you'll be done. I'm gonna try to set you down. There you go. Uh, get a drain pan, okay. Let me get my clip back in it. clip back in there real quick okay good all right guys once you get those bolts out of there you remove the hose you simply just grab onto it and you pop it up okay and you pop it off the rubber uh, boots down there that are holding it to the frame Take that hose off of that clip that hose right there goes in that clip And it should oh disconnect your hose right here slip it through the hole And let's see if we can get this thing out of here what all right so now we have access to this hose down here that hose right there same procedure on the hoses take the clip out pull it off all right guys slight adjustment on the uh removal procedure on the tank as you see down here there's that hose that i told you to take off don't take that off just leave that one on there just follow it around follow it around into the radiator and take it off the top of the radiator right here and just take it all out together it'll be easier for installation okay that's the only change i have so far let's move on let's uh let's remove uh let's remove this uh power steering container all right power steering container eight millimeter bolt 
right down in between that on top of that wiring harness all right on this job you want to make sure that you keep all your bolts organized okay all right and it'd be nice to go ahead and put your bolts if you can if you have the opportunity put your bolts back in where they go that's that hole i'll put the bolt back in where it goes that way i won't lose it and it won't be lost in the bunch of bolts that you'll have stacked up uh, these are the two rubber grommets that you'll have to pull the air cleaner housing off with so just pull it up and it'll pop out of here okay not a big deal let's start removing stuff around here uh maybe disconnect the uh the harness connector right here from the from the radiator yes it's mounted to the radiator somehow so let me check it out ah, ah. it's actually a bolt right there an eight millimeter bolt and you should be able to get the harness out of the way you can pull this whole unit over here somewhere get it out of the way so let's work on this area harness and we'll remove the lower radiator hose all right guys on this video i don't know how long this video is going to be but i know this is a three hour the book calls for a little over three hours to do this radiator uh, on this if you're a mechanic so figure four or five six hours if you're not a mechanic maybe depending on your your skill level but uh i'm not going to be doing any editing so it is what it is so let's get to it i took that bolt off on the harness now the harness moves around a little bit okay uh i'm gonna work on getting the lower radiator hose disconnected now all right same procedure as the other hose you removed you stick your little pick in there and you pull it out of there get it far enough out so you can grab it with your finger so it won't pop off and fly anywhere on this case i kind of want it to drop but i got it okay so we got the clip out put it up there for now i'm going to put it back in the hose just like i did the other one ah! Or on the power steering, I'll just tuck it right there so it won't flop in my area. I won't thought this is my area now. So <laughs> he's staying there. All right, what's next? Let's, uh, there's just way too much stuff, y'all. But we're going to see by the end of the video, we're, we're going to give it a thumbs up or a thumbs down on it. This is my first one, but I'm pretty mechanical so it shouldn't be too big of a deal i hope so let's go ahead and uh take the upper radiator hose off now too and uh we'll get this out of the way all right again we're only going to take it off of one side the radiator side and uh let me get my pick and i'll go ahead and pick this connector off doesn't want to come off all right it did not that clip did not want to come off maybe there's a trick to it I don't know so I just took the clamp off and I'll just pull it out of the hole and I'll stow it back here somewhere out of the way okay now let's take a look let's take a look at this box see what we got going on over here i took this uh i took this cable off of it already 10 millimeter bolt okay and uh let's see let's see Let's go ahead and remove these bolts. Since I gotta get them off anyways, let's go ahead and get them. They're 10 millimeter bolts. Let's get all four of them out. I'm gonna use a ratcheting wrench 
it would be the one of the easiest tools to use. All right, I got the bolts out. If you look down here, you'll see a little clip right there that the harness connects to. So you got to bend that out of the way, and then you can pull the harness out. And I give you some slack on it. All right, be gentle. It is a harness. So I'm cleared with the fan trout. So that's actually all you really need. So what I think I'm going to do now. I don't know what I'm going to do now. Do I have to remove the fan trout on this job? I would imagine I would have to. So let's work on getting the uh, let's work on getting the fan clutch out of there. That's how I'm going to play it. I'm going to get my uh, my big wrench and uh, my special tool probably, and we'll see if we can pop that fan clutch out. All right, guys, what we're doing here is we're putting a one and seven eighths on the fan clutch itself. And I'm gonna use a special tool. You actually just hook it on to here. And we'll use the air gun to pop it out. There's other ways to remove the fan shroud. Just, uh, yeah, there's other ways to do it. But this is how I'm gonna do it. All right, let's uh, wish me luck. Maybe I can just pop this off, hopefully. Let's see if it goes okay. Nope, that did not work out well for me. I'm going counterclockwise. Does not seem to be working. There's another way I can do it. All right, guys, what I did, uh, I did some more tension on that belt, so I put my long pry bar underneath the belt and I pried it up. I pried it up, okay, to get tension on the belt and then I broke it loose. All right. That's all there was to it. All right now, thank God it came off. I can just unscrew it off and I can take the whole fan shroud and the fan off in one piece. Saves me time. Otherwise it would be a very long job if I didn't remove that. All right, so the fan is out. Let's see if I can get the fan shroud out. I'm gonna disconnect the electrical connector on it, which is right here. I'll disconnect that and I'll get the, the fan out of there. All right, guys, let's go ahead and remove upper radiator hose. Just below the upper radiator hose, you see a bolt. Let's remove that bolt it's for the fan shroud. So I got my eight millimeter on it. Long extension, but I got a camera on my hand. I'm gonna put my camera down. This is also the bolt where that uh, where that little uh, that little harness connector was on. Okay, this right here that hooked up to the harness. All right, I'll bend uh, I'll bend this piece of metal a little bit, and I'll stick my screwdriver in that clip. I'll pull it back oh, and I broke it. 
I broke the plastic on the clip. No big deal. I'll just plastic tie it. I might have just should have took off the damn bolt right there and just took it off. I'm going to do that. All right, guys. Now that we got the fan off of there and it's just hanging there inside. All right. We're going to have to remove this line. We got to get this line out of the way. So, you know, we got to disconnect that somehow. I think it's right there. Let's get a screwdriver in there and pop that out, I think. Let's see. Let's see what happens. Yeah, it kind of pries out right there. And I should be able to pop it out of there, right? All right, good. Pull it out. Get this thing out of the way. Try be careful because it is aluminum. This does have a rubber on it. I want to be gentle with it though. All right. So let's just try that. See if we can get the fan shroud out of there. I'll set you up here. And that way if I break something, it's on video. What? All right, let's do it. I got the electrical box out of the way. Get a hold of your fan and the shroud at the same time. There's a harness over here that's like that's like uh, one of those little push plastic push pins. I'm gonna need a pair. Of, I'm gonna need a pair of. Uh, pliers so I can pull it off out of the hole there it is not a problem not a problem I think that's I think that's all there is to it let me go ahead and get the fan out of there now okay guys it looks free and clear let me spin you back around here so you can see this hose. Alright, what's holding it? There's another harness down there. Got that off. Yeah. Ta da! Alright. Not too bad of a job so far. He needs a belt. So, when you do work for other people, man, you make sure you look around. So he's definitely gonna need another belt, right? Thing is all dry rotted. So I'll be replacing this belt too for him, I'm sure. And here's my radiator right here. So, there's a bolt right there. The radiator support bolt right there. Let's check this side. There's another one right there. We got the lower radiator hose off. That's good. And Okay, let's go ahead and get the radiator support bolts out and then we'll work from there. We still got to take out some transmission lines, but uh, let's get this thing so we can move it around. All right, guys, you notice I'm not taking off the grill. I don't see the need to just take off the grill. There's plenty of room to work through the grill. Plus, I just can't get it off that easily, so I'm not going to worry about it. So uh, next step is uh, removing the uh, removing the horn. Lay it to the side, disconnect it, do whatever you got to do. I'm just going to leave it plugged up. Uh, now on the radiator, these little clips that the radiator, that the condenser slides in. Uh, I had a hard time with this side, so I just broke the radiator side coming up. It's a little tab that, that this slides in the radiator. So you just break it. I'm replacing the radiator anyways, so not a big deal. I did that on both sides actually. Uh, just go ahead and break those little ears off. 
of the radiator side and uh, you should have some movement out of the radiator now all right let me look around for the next step uh, we're going to talk about that fan Shredder. in case you don't have that tool to get the fan off I'll talk about later how you can get that off uh, without a special tool so stay tuned for that but anyways let's get back to the radiator uh, there's a uh, clamp down there for the uh, cooling line so I'm gonna have to remove that disconnect that so let's get this one off first get a pair of pliers and pull that clamp off pull the hose off that hose is holding it there's another hose over here let me show you there's a hose right there let me back up a little bit so you see where I'm at right there let's take that hose off too that's the other cooling line just on top of it which was makes sense all right that hose is a pretty snug fit on that hose just use pliers regular pliers on it so that's good we can this side is completely off I think yes it's completely off on this side now so let's work on that side yes I want you to guys see the removal of the over the radiator so I'm gonna set you down I don't know where I can set you yeah I can set you here I guess you'll see most of it so this side as you know is already off this side over here is almost off too you're just gonna have to push them hoses out of the way a little bit and work it out of there that's what you're gonna have to do and you're gonna have to slide it under here there it is baby hey I'm gonna say this was a uh, if you follow my lead, you'll be fine. And let me show you what I broke off those ears. If you look, if you look right there, that's where the, I just broke the ears off of it. Since I'm replacing the radiator anyways, it makes it easier to remove it. Uh, it actually looks like that. So you just break that ear off. <laughs> And it'll look like that when you break it. And then you can get the radiator separated from the condenser. Which is one of the hardest parts I fooled with for like 15 minutes. And I said, man, forget that. I still don't understand why they say take out the headlights. Uh, leave a comment below on why they're saying take out the headlight. Because I don't understand. There's no need to take out a headlight. So, and there we have it. Everything looks pretty good. Let's get a new radiator in there, man. Let's wrap this thing up. I've been on this job way too long. This job is underquoted. It calls for a little over three hours of work. Yeah, it's worth more than that. It's worth more than that. So, uh, yeah, let's put it back together again. All right, guys, let's take a couple seconds to talk about getting that fan off of there. There's a couple ways you can get that fan off if you don't have the special tool in your home and you need to get it done. You can have uh, get a helper and you can get a wrench on your tensioner pulley and you can pull up on it, which will which will make that belt tighter so it won't so that pulley right so the water pump pulley won't spin same thing as i did when i put the pry bar in there i just stretched the belt got it really tight enough to break the nut loose okay another way you can do it is you can get a small take the belt off it would be easier take the belt completely off at least off the alternator let it hang down and you get you a pair of vice grips uh and you can clamp you can put a pair of vice grips and clamp 
behind the pulley and lock it down so it won't move uh if you put some clamps right you understand what i'm saying put some clamps on it snap it down uh snap it down and then this pulley won't move and you can break that nut off a lot easier just get a pair of uh a big wrench a big crescent wrench to put on that nut and pop it loose it'll save you some time either way you go so uh you know at least you don't have to take off lights and grills and and everything else uh, i did everything right here and i was actually pretty speedy i i mean i knocked it out pretty fast actually uh it, it will be faster next time i do one but yeah that's how you do that uh there's other ways you can do it leave comments below on how you would remove it if you didn't have special tools that would be appreciated but we're going to go ahead and take the belt off and we're going to change that uh and put a new one on there hey i just also want to add if uh there's been a time or two that I removed these two bolts out of the bottom of the alternator. Take the belt off, take the alternator off, or give it out of the way just a little bit. You don't have to disconnect too much. Just these two bolts and maybe a couple on top. And uh, you'll have better access to grip it with the vice grips. Uh, in case, you know, you have to go that far. Uh, it's an option and it doesn't take that long once the belt is off the alternator basically just comes right out with two bolts so It's uh, it's another option guys All right, man. We're done. We got a new belt on there We got a new belt on there nice and fresh So let's get this radiator back in there. Let's finish this job. I've been out here too long already All right guys now here's our new radiator those are those ears we broke off of the old one. All right, you see, that's not a problem. See, ears, we got ears. There's our two cooling line uh, hoses. They, you know, just little clamps, pull off the hoses. So let's drop this thing in there. Uh, and we'll just go in reverse order. Uh, yeah, we'll just go in reverse order. We'll put the hoses on first, and then we'll pop the condenser in a slot headlights still the grill everything is still together I'm just saying <laughs> now on the reinstall on the reinstall make sure you get your old bushings off the old radiator and put them in the hole okay both sides there's one on that side too okay so we're half in there I'm gonna set you I guess I'm going to try to set you here and you guys can just see what you can see at least on the part where we drop in the radiator all right I've got to get this hose in position kind of kind of kind of kind of slowly but surely get it in the spot where it belongs Make sure you got these wiring harnesses in the right position. All right, this might be kind of tricky. This might be kind of tricky. It's like a puzzle. It's like a puzzle, that's all. AC cooling line on the passenger side. Kind of get it past that. Okay, get it past those wiring harnesses. Okay, that looks good. good let me drop it in the holes in those bushings make sure that harness is out of the way 
Yeah, just be careful of the wiring harnesses is the only thing I can tell you. Just be gentle. And, and yeah, just... Uh, yeah, kind of drop it in the hole. And this one, drop it in the hole. Uh, all right, guys, the radiator is in. So, what I'm going to do. Now, before I put the condenser on there, I wanna go ahead and get those hoses connected, would be my next step. And uh, then I'll push it together and I'll, I'll snap the condenser where it belongs. Yeah, so far so good. Okay guys, actually it's easier to go ahead and get the radiator in here, go ahead and clip on the, uh, the condenser and then get the hoses on there yeah that's definitely easier so uh yeah let's do it finish it up okay not a problem at all y'all we got a nice good flush fit right there we got our hoses and our clamps on them not a problem took a whole five minutes to do that make sure you push it down on the bushings itself Make sure you got your harnesses clear and out of the way when you reinstall that that uh, that radiator. Nothing is pinched. Okay. Yeah, everything looks good. Nice and flush. Okay. So good. Let's. Uh, what's next? The fan and the fan shroud. Let's get the fan and the fan shroud back on there. I want to one thing I want to mention before I get off this thing uh, is get the fan shroud in there uh, like this and then put the fan on just like you took it off and then work it in there okay all right guys I didn't take off anything else so uh, oh I got to get the uh, the horn back on there we can go ahead and do the horn now Anyways, guys, that's about it. All I'm going to run through because that's, that's the most important part. Uh, you should be able to get everything else back in there just fine without me. So, uh, hey, until next time, I hope you liked the video. Like or subscribe. Uh, comments and questions below. I appreciate it. Peace. Hayes Mobile Auto Repair. We're in Jackson, Mississippi. All right, guys, we got it running. It runs good. Let me show you the tools we're going to need. This is all I needed on this job. Uh, you guys saw me use the air hammer. Not necessary. Don't worry about that if you don't have special tools. But this is what you're going to need. You're going to need some, a screwdriver, flathead, some pliers, a half inch drive ratchet would be nice. 10 millimeter, 13 millimeter. These are ratcheting not necessary whatever you got is fine 13 millimeter socket 10 millimeter socket 8 millimeter socket uh it's the 13 again uh 10 millimeter socket said that already an extension for your 8 millimeter okay a pair of cutting dikes to take off those little plastic clips for the wire harnesses and I used a gun, you know, to speed things up. And that's it. 